Amen. Give them a big hand once again, would you? <laughs> Praise God. Well, thank you, and um, thank you for welcoming my wife as well. Some of you know her because um, I know I'm very biased, but I think she's the number one licensed counselor in Hawaii, right? <laughs> there we go. I'm thankful for her. <laughs> Hallelujah. No, thank you, Pastor Mai Mona, for, for our friendship, for partnering in ministry, for the opportunity to minister here tonight. And I'm just so excited to see so many of you out here. I mean, there's so many things that you could be doing on a Saturday night, and yet you chose to come out to an unair conditioned place <laughs> with a lot of people that you don't know and to hear from somebody that you don't know either. But I believe that God is in the house. Amen. And um, I always said this, that I'd rather be under a hot palm tree where God is than some cathedral with fountains and air conditioning where God is not. Amen. 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 Because where the Spirit of the Lord is, hallelujah, miracles, healings, life, all of peace, all of that is present. And so we're, we're, we're blessed to be in his presence tonight. I'm going to preach just a short message. And many of you, you already know the theme of tonight. It's no secret. And maybe that's why a lot of you are here tonight. Um, so if you have your Bibles, I'm going to ask that you would turn with me to, if you have your Bibles, Mark chapter 5. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. And I'm going to start reading from verse 25. And it's a story that's in the Bible. I believe that we will learn something from this passage. We will also be inspired and even challenged by what the Lord can do tonight. Okay. Um, for those who don't know me, um, my name is Terry Wong, as I was already um, uh, introduced. I'm the senior pastor of Calvary Assembly of God. And I hope that you, don't, you will forgive me, but I am a presbyter with the Assemblies of God. Now, I know you're not Assemblies of God, but hey, when you're in heaven, there's no denominations, right? In heaven, we're all just God's children, right? But uh, I've been in the Assemblies of God all my life, really, when, as I was six years old right to, to now. So um, it, it, it's really been a blessing to be in this uh, denomination. But our church, Calvary Assembly of God, is in uh, it's three locations, in Lanakila, in Kaimuki, and also in Haleiwa as well. And um, we've just seen God do so many things here locally, but we also have planted over 200 churches around the world. And um, I just came back from, from Brazil where we, we dedicated a church building, Pastor Mike. Um, we, we purchased a building. I mean, we purchased property. We built a building, and, and God's doing great things. In fact, we found favor with, with the government as well. The, the mayors of all the different cities around have, have really um, been touched by it because it's not just a church, but it's also a school for for unfortunate children. And a lot of them don't even go to regular school, but we provide education, we provide food, we even provide lodging for some of these children just to reach out. And that's only in Brazil. We've also planted churches in China, India, East Timor, and uh, God is good, you know? So I've seen God move in so many ways in different countries, different communities. And let me say one thing. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Amen. What we're gonna read about how what he does in the Bible, he can do the same thing in here, in, in a New Hope, he can do it uh, outside Hawaii, he can do it all over the world. And so we, 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 we're just so thankful for the way that God is. So again, in Mark chapter 5, starting from verse 25, the New Living Translation, it reads, A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding. She had suffered a great deal from many doctors, and over the years she had spent everything she had to pay them but she had gotten no better. In fact, she had gotten worse. She had heard about Jesus, so she came up behind him through the crowd and touched his robe. For she thought to herself, if I can just touch his robe, I will be healed. Immediately, the bleeding stopped, and she could feel in her body that she had been healed of her terrible condition. Verse 30, Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him, so he turned around in a crowd and asked, who touched my robe? His disciples said to him, look at this crowd pressing around you. How can you ask who touched me? But he kept on looking around to see who had done it. Then the frightened woman, trembling at the realization of what had happened to her, came and fell to her knees in front of him and told him what she had done. And he said to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. I have entitled my short message tonight, 
Jesus is your healer. Jesus is your healer. Heavenly Father, as I lay hands upon your words, I ask the Lord that you would anoint your words, Lord. Your word, your truth, Lord, gives us life and sets us free. And so, Lord, I pray that there will be a lot of freedom. I pray, Lord, that there will be a lot of life tonight. And, Lord, I pray that you move, just as we just sang, oh God, in such a way that, Lord, how can we not praise you? We thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen. 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 So here we see, I'm just going to point out three points here, and there's so many points, this is an incredible story, but first, that Jesus is your healer because you suffer, because you suffer. Here we see an example of a woman who had constant bleeding, and, and we read in some other translations that it's because, um, you know, some people go through this, they get cut, and, and because of their low blood, blood um, um, count, they can't uh, the blood cannot coagulate fast enough. It, there can't be a scar, and th then you continue bleeding. Um, this woman went through this, and it says that she has suffered for 12 years, suffered. Some of us have suffered with some of our own sicknesses, some of our own diseases, some of our own injuries for a long time. And it's like, you know, I can't take this anymore. I can't bear the pain anymore. And I wish that there was someone who can relieve me of this pain? Because does anybody here like to go through pain? Anybody? You don't even like the pain of being hot right now, right? You know, <laughs> the, the, you know the discomfort of that. Well, what if it was some gnawing pain that you cannot escape from? Well, when you keep on bleeding, that, 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 that's um, a lot of suffering. But not just that. It said that in verse 26, she has suffered a great deal from many doctors. She had gone to doctors, just, I mean, just like a lot of us. If we went through some kind of suffering, we would go to a doctor and, you know, we tried to book the earliest appointment and, and hopefully our doctor can help us. And of course, you know, they're going to prescribe you something, right? I mean, there's always something to prescribe. And then you go to Long's Drug, you go to Walmart, you get the prescription, you take it, and you, you, you follow the instructions, and hopefully after you do that, everything's okay. But how many of you have done that and you are not okay? Let's be honest right now. My hand's up. Okay? In fact, anybody have, have gone through that and you got worse? My hand's still up. Okay? See, I'm just like you. I'm just human. I'm not like some super pastor and all that. I'm just human as well. And that's what had happened. She spent everything that she had, and it says that she got no better. In fact, it even says it, in fact, she had gotten worse. So while I'm really thankful for the doctors in this world, I mean, I have doctors in my church. And I'm so thankful, you know. We just came back from Orlando, Florida. We were there for a conference, and then we went, did some time in Disney World. My doctor, uh, my, my, my daughter had, had gone through, uh, was suffering uh, 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 with, some, with some women problem. And so it was just so, so reassuring that my wife could give one of our, our doctors in our church a call. He called into to Long's Drugs or Walmart or whatever uh, over in Orlando, and then we were able to pick up the prescription, and, and then she got better. Okay, so on that occasion, she got better. I'm thankful for the doctors. I don't want you to think that I'm slamming any doctors here. If you're a doctor, I thank you. I go to doctors regularly. You know, I need it for my teeth. I need it for my eyes. I need it for my body, right? You know, so, but sometimes what you're going through, the doctors only have limited knowledge. They only have limited prescription. And even the doctor that I'm talking about, he has told me that there's been cases when Patients would come to him, he's treated them, and he would say, I cannot do any more for you. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we can hear that from a lot of doctors because there are some incurable diseases out there. There are some situations that, that mere medicine cannot cure. And, and that's what was happening in this situation is that this woman sincerely went to be healed and she could not. But... Hallelujah. Thank God for the buts in the Bible. But she heard about Jesus. She heard that Jesus was in town. Hallelujah. And so when she heard that, she saw a crowd around Jesus. Now, understand, this is 2,000 years ago. There was no equal opportunity back then. There was no government bill that got passed that women are on the same level as men. Definitely not in pay, definitely not in treatment. Women were not considered very highly as in some third world countries even today. See? So a woman doesn't come close to a celebrity. Jesus was a celebrity at this time. So it says that there was a crowd around Jesus. 
I can assure you right now, the whole crowd was made up of men. They were the ones because, hey, we're the men. And here's a celebrity. Wife, if you want an autograph, let me get it because boy, it'd be an offense if you went up to him. So it was a bunch of men that were crowding around Jesus, and they were his disciples as well. She saw Jesus, and here's the thing. The second point, why, why is Jesus your healer? First was because you suffered. The second is because you are special. You are special. This woman was very special. She was not like any other woman. Most women would just look, and she didn't even have a husband that could fight on her behalf. She didn't have a friend that was by her that can say, hey, you just sit here, and I will, I will go over and ask Jesus if he can touch you in some way. She didn't have that. She was all by herself. And sometimes you feel like you're all by yourself. Sometimes when you're suffering, you're all by yourself. Nobody else is feeling that pain. Nobody else is suffering and going through what you're going through, and you feel so alone. But see, rather than shriveling up and just staying in a corner, this woman was special. In fact, she was relentless. She thought, and even says that, she thought, if I can just touch him. Now, that's another thing you don't do. A few years ago, I was preaching in India, and I didn't even know it, but I was preaching in a village in India, and, and in the service, the women were sitting on this side, the men were sitting on that side. And when I, at the end of my message, I made an altar call, and the men came up and no women. And I asked, I asked um, the pastor who had asked me to preach for him, how come the women are not coming up? Oh, I guess I didn't tell you. I said, what, what did you tell me? They're the untouchables. And I was really ignorant back in that day. I said, what are the untouchables? Oh, I guess I really didn't prepare you for today. You know, we have a caste system here in India, and there's different levels, different social classes and all that. The untouchables are the lowest. They're untouchables because nobody can touch them. They can't touch anybody. In fact, in some churches, not in this church, but in some churches, when they walk, you got to sweep behind them because they have created a dirty trail just by walking. And so they're the untouchables. They won't come up because they don't want to offend you, and you, you definitely don't want to touch them. I said, you know what? Jesus would touch them. If Jesus would touch them, I'll touch them. Amen. And I invited the women up, and they were shocked. No preacher in history of that village church had ever invited the women up. The men were the only ones that got the blessing. So when they came up, and then I said, I'm not the one touching you. Jesus is. Oh, tears were, were, were streaming down their cheeks, and they were blessed, and they were crying. And some of them who were sick, they got healed instantly. Because on that day, they felt, until that day, they felt that they were the untouchable, that not even the Lord and Savior of this world could even touch them. And yet on that day, Jesus touched them and healed them. I'm telling you, this happens. This is what the, the woman had to face. She's an untouchable back in that day. But yet, she was relentless. She was not going to take no for an answer. Certainly, when she was going up and, 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 and the men were saying, hey, hey, don't, don't, don't bother him. you you got to be kidding. You, you, can't, you can't touch this guy. No, 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 no. You're a woman. You're, you're an untouchable. But she wouldn't take any of that. No, she fought through the crowd, the Bible says. And then she was able to reach between some legs and all that and just touch, touch the hem of his garment. That's all she could do because she was special. How many here tonight are willing to be special? You're not going to be like the crowd. You're not going to know for an answer. But because if Jesus is in the house, he's worth touching. Because something can come from, a, from touching Jesus. Because you see, when you touch him, he touches you back. The Bible says, Jesus realized at once that healing power had gone out from him. So he turned around and said, who touched my robe? Now, the smart, the 12 smart guys... They're going, uh, Jesus, are you like delirious? We are touching you. You know, we've been protecting you from the crowd. You know, all these men, it's like a concentric circle. We're protecting you. So, Peter, I'm the one. James, I'm the one. John, I'm all 12 of us. We're touching you. No, no, no. There was a special touch. There was somebody that was hungry. There was somebody who's willing to leap behind world philosophies. There was somebody that didn't care what other people said about, about Christianity, about the kingdom of God, about heaven, and was willing to touch me. And if they're willing to touch me, I'm willing to touch them back. So who touched me? Who touched me? You see, the woman wasn't just special because she was relentless. She was special because Jesus saw her as special. 
in the midst of every hand, every male hand touching Jesus, he felt a female touch. And it wasn't even his body. It went translation, it's the hem. You know what hem is right here? Right here, right? You know, you women would know that, right? Men, maybe you don't know, right? But hem. <laughs> Let me tell you, the hem of pants, it costs a lot of money. That's the part I know about, okay? But hem, just, just, just the edge, just a little bit. All you do is touch a little bit of Jesus. And hallelujah, you made some connection. You may not know how to connect with him. You may not know how to pray in the King James. You know, thee and thou and hither and thither and all that. I don't understand either. <laughs> but just a small little touch. Just to say, Lord, here I am. Lord, rescue me. Lord, help me. I'm all alone. Can you be here for me? You don't have to pray some fancy prayer and all that. Just crying out to the Lord. Just say, Lord, I need you in some way. And he hears you. He can feel you. He can, he can hear your heart beating after him. That's all it takes. So you don't have to be this super Christian that's raised in a family. No. You, you, you can be raised in some broken family. You can come from some place that they never, never talk about Jesus. But if you say, Lord, I need you, he hears you. It's that small little touch. And that's what happened. You see, so Jesus saw her as someone special. And that's why the healing power went out from Jesus and touched her. And why else is Jesus your healer? Because you are to be saved. You see, she had been suffering. And he says to her, daughter, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. Your suffering is over. Who wants the suffering over? Over. Like, I'm tired of it. I hate the pain. I hate taking medication. I hate the special treatment I have to go through. I hate it. I don't like it. I want my suffering over. Wouldn't it be great if Jesus said tonight, your suffering is over. But you see, you have to be special in some way. You have to reach out first. Jesus happens to be a pretty busy God. Okay? There's a lot of, there's, what, 7 billion people in this world? Okay? He's reaching out to everybody. Trust me. But who's going to make that special touch and reach out to him? Who's going to say, here I am? See, the people who say that, well, I just want to sit back and see what God will do. No, 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 no. He's not waiting for that. He's waiting for the people who are hungry after him, who will pursue him. Hallelujah. Because he already pursued you when he sent Jesus to die for you 2,000 years ago. Now the ball's in your court. Are you willing to throw it back and say, here I am, Lord. I'm interested in you. I, 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 I need you to save me from my suffering. I need you to save me from my sins, from my life that's been so broken, that has not worked. I need a better life. That's why John 10.10 10 says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. That's talking about the devil. But I, and Jesus is talking here, I have come to give you life and life more abundantly. Abundant life is living in health. Abundant life is knowing where your eternity is. That's, that's, having your suffering over with. You see, a couple of months ago, I was um, uh, speaking in Malaysia. I closed the story, by the way. And, and I, was, I was speaking in a camp in Malaysia, even harder than this, can you believe that, okay? Uh, with 500 people. And, and God just um, set up a situation where someone who was suffering from multiple sclerosis needed healing. And... And um, we had a time of prayer. She came up, and I invited her to come up to the stage. And you can see she was limping as she was coming up, limping. So I, I, I took a chair, similar to this one. And I said, um, what, what's going on? And she said, her whole left side is in pain. Her back, left side of her back, left leg, all in pain. And I said, do the doctors know about this? She said, I have been, been to many doctors. I said, okay, would you, would you kindly sit down, okay? Because I need to check out something. It's not always the case, but sometimes it's the case. When people have back pain, sometimes it's because one leg is shorter than the other one. So what happens is that if one leg is shorter than the other one, you limp, right? Because you, you know, I mean, if it's not even, of course, you're, you can limp. And, if it, and, and the more uneven the legs are, the more limping. And, by the, and through the limping, there's going to be undue stress placed on your back, and that's where the pain 
originates from, from the uneven legs. Now, it's not always the case. Some people have even legs and they still have back pain. Then, then, we just, then, then we have to pray differently, okay? But for those who have one leg shorter than the other one, I need to test it out because if, the, if, we, if, if one leg is shorter, if we pray for the lengthening of the shorter leg, and now the leg is even, now your, your body is corrected, and the pain will not be there anymore, and now you can walk normal, and the uh, healing has taken place. Or at least, you know, at least we, we, we heal the legs, but if it's something else, we'll also pray for that as well. Does that make sense? And she goes, yes, yes, please. I am even in pain right now. So, okay, okay, sit down. So I had her sit down, and then I lifted up her legs, and sh sure enough, her left leg was three inches shorter than the right leg as I lifted up. And I said, does the doctor know this? Oh, yeah. I said, do you know what caused this? And she said, I've had multiple sclerosis for years. I says, oh, no wonder. And then I, I noticed something. I says, um, your pants here are kind of tight. She says, oh, yeah. You know, I, I like to wear, wear the skinny pants. I said, oh, that's good. OK. But <laughs> it, you know, she's a young person. She's like 26 years old. You know, you're not young people. <laughs> Anyways. But I noticed that the pants were loose on the left leg. I said, how come it's loose here? Oh, because through the multiple sclerosis, my muscles have shrunk. I said, oh, wow, no wonder you're in so much pain. You almost, it's like you'd almost have no left leg. She said, exactly. I put so much pressure on this because I can't push pressure. I said, well, you know what? Do you believe that Jesus is your healer? And she said, I would love to believe that. I said, well, you know what? He can, he can heal you now, like right now. She said, oh, I would love for him to heal me right now because I've been to a doctor. They can't fix me. They said that this is chronic. This is for the rest of my life. And, 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 and they even said that for the rest of my life, my left, left leg will, will go sh sh uh, skinnier and skinnier. I'll be down to bone and skin, skin and bones. I said, well, you know, we can't let that happen. So let's just pray. And I prayed. And not only did the left leg grow out within seconds, the muscles grew out as well. Wow. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody give the Lord a clap offering. Why? Because Jesus saw her suffering. And Jesus saw her as somebody special. Because, see, another part of his story, she wanted to go on a missions trip. And her leaders told her she cannot. Every trip that she picked, it required a lot of walking. And they said, sorry, because of your physical conditions, you cannot. After she got healed, I heard, Pastor, she signed up for her first missions trip now because she's still healed. Hallelujah. You see, she was suffering, she was special, but Jesus saved her and given her a new life. If Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever, which is what Hebrews 13, 8 says, if he can heal in Malaysia, if he can heal 2,000 years ago, he can heal today. Amen. How many of you want to believe that? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We have called tonight a healing night because we have a Jesus who heals. And the 30 odd people that Pastor was talking about, they learned a lot about Jesus being the healer. They are full of faith right now. There's a lot of faith in this room. And some of you who have come with sicknesses, with suffering, ailments, pain, tonight's your night. I believe the Lord can touch you. Some of you will be instantly healed. Some of you will be gradually healed. And we learn in the course that Jesus does both. I can cite situations in the, in the Bible where Jesus didn't heal instantly, but gradually. But here's the thing. Once we pray for you, you have to receive that healing power that the woman felt and receive it, believe it, even if you don't feel the healing right away. Because sometimes the Bible says they got healed the same hour. One story that I taught in the class, it was three days later. But if you lose faith and you don't believe anymore, there it goes to. There goes your healing. we got to believe in this thing together. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, Lord, for your incredible grace. Because it is grace, Lord. None of us deserve any of your blessings. We don't even, believe, we don't even deserve salvation. We don't deserve to go to heaven. We've disobeyed you so many times. We live our lives without you. We thought that we could, we could do it on our own. We've denied you. We've put you away so many times, oh God. We don't deserve any blessing from you. And yet, because of your grace, you provided salvation for us. Because of your grace, you have provided healing for us. 
When you died on that cross, that's what you did. You died for our sins. You died for our sicknesses. And Lord, we thank you for that. Lord, you know that there are many people who are suffering right now. And Lord, the Bible says that you inhabit the praises of your people. We praised you earlier with some incredible songs. I believe you're in the house right now. And Lord, we ask that Jesus, the healer, be here because you know the people who are suffering. Some of them have suffered a great deal. Some of them have gotten worse after going to doctors and they can't take it anymore. But Lord, for those who are willing to touch you, that are willing to be relentless, regardless of what the crowd say, regardless of what other men may say, people of authority, Lord, if we're willing to fight through that and still touch you, you will touch us back. Wow, we're special in your eyes. Every one of us, even those who have not even received you as Lord and Savior, you're still, we're still special to you. So Lord, we ask that Jesus, the healer, you would also save us tonight, oh God. Save us because, Lord, we need to be saved from our suffering. We need to be saved from our sins. So move, Lord, in a special way tonight, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, um, one of the things that we learned in our class was that the Holy Spirit has given to the church gifts of healings. Both words in the original language in the Bible are plural. Why is there a plurality of gifts of healings? Because there's a plurality of sicknesses, diseases, injuries out there. And God has given to different people a gift of healing. Some are just starting in that gift. Others are more developed in that gift. And one of the gifts that God has given to me is to pray for people with bad backs, especially those who have one leg shorter than the other. So I want to start our healing ministry time with that. Those who have pains in their back, especially those who know that you have a leg shorter than the other one, I'm just going to ask that you come up here to the altar, and I would like to pray for you. Okay, you don't have to be embarrassed. You don't, we're, all, we're all together here. We're all seeking some kind of healing, some kind of touch from the Lord tonight. And so if that's you, you have some kind of back pain, I would like the opportunity to be able to pray for you. Okay? I'm not going to charge you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to pull you. You know, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to pray for you so that the Lord can heal you. Okay? So those who have... have yeah, this is good. Okay, you can kind of see. Yeah, this is very good. Okay, those who have bad backs, if you can just come up to the front here, please. Okay, hallelujah. And so um, I'm going to ask Pastor and Rich, if you guys can assist me up here. Okay, what we're going to do is that um, when I started this ministry, I used to um, just do it as the way I, I'm, I'm about to, to do it. That is kind of just up here on the stage. And then people said that, well, you know, um, I'm sitting in the back, I can't really see, and I don't know what's going on. And so my, my ministry has kind of matured over the years. And so I've got Brother Rich over here. He's going to project the healing onto the screen. Okay? So, hey, screen right there, hey, screen. The screen right here. Okay? So I, I want to emphasize something. I am not the healer. I don't have any healing power of myself. It's only because he's using me. It's Jesus who has the healing power. Okay, so um, I want him to get all the credit tonight. Okay, so let, let us start. Brother, come up here. I know, it's sitting too long, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, come up here. Okay, brother, if you can just sit back against the chair. Okay, so I'm just going to test to see if your legs are even or uneven, okay? Okay, in your case, your legs are even, okay? So what, what part of your back is, is hurting? Oh, you had a stroke, okay. Okay, let's pray, church, together. Oh, what's your name, brother? Galen. Okay, Galen. Heavenly Father, I just pray for Galen right now. Heavenly Father, you are the healer. By your stripes, we are healed. That's what it says in the Bible. And I claim that scripture over Galen right now. That Lord, even as my hand is upon his back, I pray, Lord, that it's as if it's your own hand upon his back. So, Lord, in Jesus' name, right now, as I 
Pray for him, O oh God. His back, his front side, O oh God. I pray that you will take the pain away. You'll bring it down, Lord. Whatever pain level it was earlier, O oh God, I pray that you'll bring it down because, Lord, you're healing the nervous system. You're healing the muscles. You're healing the bones right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, as I pray for him, O oh God, just do a great miracle upon him now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Stand up, Galen. Test your back. Just kind of move around. How do you feel? Better, better. Better? What, what was the pain level when you walked up here? One to ten. I was ten being really bad. Nine. Nine. And what is it now? I would say, I don't feel it. What? A zero? No, no, zero, yeah. There's no pain. Hallelujah! <laughs> wow, really? Went from nine to zero. Right. Great job. Now, now, you know, I didn't do it, right? I just prayed. It's Jesus. Right. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Go to your seat, brother. Wow. Okay. Hallelujah. Okay, brother, can you come up here? Jody. Okay, Jody. Oh, your legs are even too. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll get a few soon. Okay. Okay, what, can you tell me about your back? Um, I got degenerative discs up here and on the bottom. So the pain right now, I. I don't really have any pain. It comes and it goes, but when it comes, it's, um, it's okay. bad. Okay, well, let's pray for it's coming, okay? Because it's not here now, right? Okay, we're going to do that. Heavenly Father, right now, I pray for Jody. Lord, thank you that he's not feeling any pain, but it doesn't mean that, Lord, the pain cannot come. It doesn't mean that the enemy cannot attack him. It does not mean that, Lord, he's going to do something that's going to uh, aggravate it. So right now, Lord, we pray for a hedge of protection around him. Yes. Lord, wrap yourself, your anointing around his back so that Judy will not receive the pain. And even when it does, it's going to, be, it's going to fire back to its source right now in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we pray for protection. We thank you, Lord, that we have this opportunity to pray for him. And even as I pray, oh God, right now, Lord, I'm almost seeing a shield going around his back, protecting him from any oncoming pain. In Jesus' name, I pray. Thank you, Lord, for his healing. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Okay, Jody. Hallelujah. Okay. All right. Doctor, I didn't offend you did earlier, right? No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Good old Dr. Carey here, okay? <laughs> He's a good man. He loves missions. Hallelujah. Let's yes. find out here. Okay, we got one here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did, did you know your left leg was shorter than your right? Yeah. Okay, can you see that? It's about an inch, right? Okay, so you're a doctor. Do you believe in the healing power of Dr. Jesus? Okay, Lord, right now, in Jesus' name, pray that you'll grow it out. Yeah, right there. See, it's growing out right now. It's coming out right now in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Almost there. Just a little bit more. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. Stand up, Dr. Carey. Lord, complete the healing on his back. Lord, he's a great dentist, but Lord, not a good foot doctor. But that's okay, because you are his foot doctor. So Lord, I pray, Lord, that you take all the pain away from his back so that he can walk normally now. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Hallelujah. How do you, how does it, how do you feel? Oh, I'm like Jody. The, the pain sort of comes and goes. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, see, maybe because your, 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 your leg was one inch shorter, yeah. depending on how you walk, maybe a pothole, whatever, that could start it off, and, but now even legs. So learn to walk normal now, right? Right, right? right. You can tell me about my teeth. I can tell you about your legs, okay? All right, good. <laughs> Praise God. Okay, brother, ready? Is Jesus good or what? Amen. Amen. Okay, Kenneth, right, Kenneth. Okay. Okay, you have even legs. Okay, that's okay. Tell me about your back. Neck damage. Oh, yeah. I have um, ruptured disc, and somatic nerve, but soft all in my legs and everything. Just pains and everything. What, what pain level are you in now? Right now, but only about three, four, about. Oh, okay. Okay. Late at night, it's just worse. It's okay. Just comes in. Okay. Okay. Well, let's let's get the three, four down to one or two or zero, so that later on it won't be so bad too. Right? Does that that make sense? Okay, hallelujah. Lord, I start with praying from Kenneth's thighs in Jesus' name. Lord, would you touch his thighs, all the nerves, his muscles right now, and place your healing virtue upon him. We pray for his neck, oh God. Lord, 
necks are, are difficult, Lord, but he, you're the one who made his neck. And so, Lord, would you reconstruct in such a way that, Lord, he won't go through any more suffering, oh God, his nervous system, his back, lower part. Lord, in Jesus' name, bring the pain level down because you can do that. And Lord, also protect him from what can be coming later on. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. Okay, stand up and tell me how you feel. Move around. You feel better? Yeah. Okay. It's better, right? Yes. You're not saying that just to make me feel good, right? No. <laughs> okay, okay. Praise God. All right. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what's the... You said three, four. What's the now? Maybe about half. Half of that? So half? one, two? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay. Well, good. Keep on believing the Lord because he's moving around right now in the congregation, okay? So so say, Lord, I'm believing for the, the another half, yeah. right? Another half, right? Half, 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 right? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God, Kenneth. All right. Roy, okay, yes. good old Roy here. Okay, Roy, let's find out here. Oh, look at Roy. We got one. You see that, Pastor? Do you see that? You, no, look, look, look down to here. You, you look at heel. You see that? Did you know that your left leg was that short? Wow, that, that's significant, right? Okay, so you saw the other leg growing out? Did you see the other leg growing out? Do you believe your leg can grow out the same way? Do you want him to take his shoes off? It's okay. We're good, we're good. <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> yeah, my sinus system is okay right now. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Heavenly Father, oh, okay, you ready? Heavenly Father, I just pray for his left leg to come out right now in Jesus' name. Oh, see, he's already coming out. In Jesus' name, grow it out, Lord. Hallelujah. Another half inch to go. Hallelujah. Okay, you're stuck here. Okay, go, go, Lord. Go, Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah it's coming out in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. It's almost there, almost there. Can you feel the left leg? You can feel it coming out, right? Oh, it's almost there. Look at that. Just a little bit more. One eighth, one inch, one sixteenth, one thirty second. I'm over there. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! Whoa! That was a harder one than usual. You've been doing some things not, not good. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I pray, Lord, that you would just touch Roy's back right now. Thank you for lengthening his leg. Lord, it took a while there, but Lord, you still came through. And I pray, Lord, that you take all the pain away now in Jesus' name. Amen. Walk right now. Just walk and tell me if you feel differently from before. Yeah, it looks, it feels more, more um, easy. You know, I mean, no, no pain or anything. Wow. Yeah. No pain. Yeah. See, because now you're walking, now you're walking normally, right? I so, yeah. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Okay, brother. Yes. Oh, great. Oh, you came to support him? Yes. Oh, wow. What a, you have a good friend here, right? Wait, what's your name, brother? Rich. Rich. Okay, Rich. But did you see just what happened? Yeah. Yeah. Have you ever seen anything like that before? Okay. Okay. I, I'm not a magician. Okay, I just want you to know that, okay? I, I don't do special tricks and all that, right? I'm just a preacher. I just pray and ask Jesus to do it. And I believe that Jesus is alive because he proves it by doing stuff like this. Okay, let's see, let's see about your legs, right? Do you know if your legs are shorter? Or you don't know that. Okay, well, we'll find out. You do have a foot problem. Sir. Oh, okay, okay. Well, that's my back too, so. Okay. So you have a foot problem, need surgery, that affects your back as well. Yeah. All right, well, let's see. Let's, er, er, oh man, you're a basket case, right? Yeah, yeah, just, okay, that's fine. A mess. A mess, I know, we're all a mess. Okay. <laughs> Okay, just a little bit. Just half an inch. Okay? Lord, in the name of Jesus, just grow this left leg. Ah, uh, that's it. That's it. Okay, that was a fast one. Okay, so, so you're living right. Okay, that's good. Heavenly Father? I did feel that. You did feel that? Okay. Did you feel that? I felt it move. Yeah. Uh, and did I pull you? Did I pull your leg? No. no. Right? It was not me. No, no magician trick. No, right? no. Yeah, that was just a, hey, man, that's Jesus. You know that, right? Okay. Heavenly Father, as I pray... For my brother's back right now, I pray, Lord, that you would complete the healing because, Lord, you know that he goes through, goes through um, um, pains in his back, his left foot, Lord. I just pray, Lord, that, that, Lord, he doesn't have to go through any more surgery, that you will surgically heal his left foot right now in Jesus' name because, Lord, you made his foot. You can remake his foot. And so, Lord, we pray for your divine healing because you already demonstrated, Lord, you just, you just grew out his left leg. Now heal his left foot. We thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Walk around. How, how's it feel? Feels good. Yeah, I mean, it feels good. 
Good, all right, because God is good. Amen. Thank you, Wayne, for bringing him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Are we good, everybody? Nobody's bored, right? Nobody, right? Amen, okay. Let's, um, we'll, we'll do her because she's already here. We'll, we'll pray for her down there. Okay, you come up. Okay, so back pain. Left side, okay? Okay, I prayed for your leg before, right? Okay, did you do anything to injure your leg or whatever? No. Okay. Sitting stress. Okay, see, you know what? Let's, let's just pray for you. Because I, I remember, I prayed for your leg and it evened out, right? So let's pray for your, you said left side here? Okay. I have surgery in two weeks. You have surgery in two weeks? Yep. Okay. It would be nice to not get surgery. Yeah. Okay, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, we pray for our brother right now. Thank you, Lord, that you have already healed him before, at least is lengthening his left leg. And now, Lord, I pray for his left side. Lord, you know when he sits, it's uncomfortable. But, Lord, you're the physician. You are the healer. And right now, Lord, as I lay hands upon his left side, I pray that, Lord, you would add another portion of your healing power upon him so that, Lord, he'd be so healed, he won't even need surgery. So touch his left side, oh God. We thank you, Lord, that you are Jehovah Rapha in the Hebrew. That means that, that you are the Lord, our healer. And so, Lord, we receive that now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is, is, are you going through pain right now, Derek? Uh, it was like eight when I came up. It's like four now. But. Four. Eight to four. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Keep on believing and the four will go down even further. Right? Hallelujah. Okay, sister. Sharon. Right? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's... up here oh look at that look at that do you see that did you know that you knew that how did you know that your leg was shorter than the other mike 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 mike, mike over i had bad thing of sharp shooting pains and those have went away but it's still hurting dull pains but yeah measure them um, the other day. Ah, okay. She said it wasn't much shorter. I have a curvature in my spine. Okay. Did you watch some of the healings? Do you believe Jesus is going to do the same thing for you? Okay, so the doctor said that, I mean, verified, right? Yeah, like, I'm not pushing your left leg in to make it look shorter, right? I'm not doing that, right? Okay, it's verified. Okay. <laughs> Heavenly Father, right now, Lord, you heard what the doctor said, but Lord, Sometimes we go to doctors, we get worse. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, we pray that you would, Lord, heal our sister Sharon, her left leg right now, in Jesus' name. Lord, even though it's because of a bad curvature, which, oh, sorry, 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 come out right now. Lord, just grow it out now, in Jesus' name. If you have to heal the curvature to make this happen, do it, Lord. Because, Lord, her body was made by you. And so, Lord, we pray that you will grow out now, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's coming out. It's taking a while now. Because it's probably been like this for a long time, right? In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. See, it's coming out. It's coming out. It's almost there. See, because before it was like an inch and a half, right, Pastor? Right? See? So it's like it's like quarter inch now. Yeah, right now it's almost almost two inches. Yeah. Okay, Lord, right now, the final. Right now. Just grow this thing out in Jesus' name. Keep on doing it, Lord. It's almost there. Lord, we, want, we don't want her to be uneven. We want her to be even. We want her to, Lord, be able to walk properly. And so would you grow it out? It's almost there in Jesus' name. Almost there. Just a little bit more, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, oh it's, almost, it's just like one eighth of an inch now. It's right there even now. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> really? How, did, did you feel that? Yes, I did. You feel, I, I noticed you had your eyes closed, right? Like you praying and all that, right? Trust. I mean, we, we, I think we filmed, recorded so you can watch it for yourself. Okay. Thank you. you. Feel something different? Yes, I did. Okay, now how's how's her back right now? Lord, seal the healing right now upon her back. Don't let it come back to pain anymore. Thank you, Lord. And Lord, that curvature, Lord, we, if you didn't heal it yet, heal it now as well. Straighten it out, Lord, so that it, it curved the right way, oh God, your way. Right now, we thank you because, Lord, you are the God that heals her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sharon. John. Yeah, they're the same length, same length. Okay, so can you tell me about your back? My lower back and also distressed discs in my neck. Oh, okay. 
Okay. You've been watching this. Do you believe Jesus can do something about your back? Do it. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's a good answer. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Heavenly Father, I just pray for John, and we pray, Lord, that, Lord, if you, as you have healed everyone so far, that, Lord, you would not leave John alone. You would heal him, too. And so, Lord, as I lay hands upon his back, the disc, oh God, the neck area, this entire spine, as, I, as my hand is, is, is moving from, from top to bottom, Lord, may it be as if it's your own hand. Would you heal his back now? In Jesus' name, take away the pain. Heal the nervous system, the flesh, the bones, everything, Lord. We thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay, can you stand up, John, and tell me how you feel? Because my neck impacts the nerve right. here, uh -huh. and some, sometimes I can't lift it. So sometimes, sometimes you can't lift that. Can you lift it now? I can lift it now. Can you? And and are you lifting it without pain? Uh, slight pain, but still slight. It's, okay, you know what? What pain level was it when you came up here? You know, it's always there, so I can't you tell you. You got kind of used to it. Yeah. Well, let's try to let's pray that the pain would be completely gone. Can we do that? One more prayer, okay? Lord, I pray for John's shoulder right now. Heavenly Father, he wants to be able to lift up his left arm because, Lord, he's got things to do. And, and, and Lord, it would be such an inconvenience if he can't lift up his left arm. He can do it now, Lord, but with still a little pain, would you take away the pain as I lay my hand upon his shoulder, heal the nervous system, the, the flesh that is causing this pain. In Jesus' name, we thank you. We thank you for the first touch. Now we pray for the second touch. In your name we pray. Amen. Okay. Okay, do it again. Good? good 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 that was good good hallelujah john good because god is good hallelujah amen oh i know you Dr. to brian what are you doing here i thought you were always busy saturday night yeah? <laughs> praise god all right hallelujah you can do whatever you want okay hallelujah all right oh look at that did you know this you knew that you knew that about an inch, right? You didn't know that? Look, it's an inch. Your left leg is one inch shorter than the other one. Okay? Okay. You saw all that, right? You believe in Jesus, right? Amen. Okay. <laughs> Lord, just pray for, for healing upon Brian right now. Just let it happen. Oh, there it goes. So fast, so fast. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Wow, God must use you to heal other people, right? <laughs> right? <Is> that, <laughs> Lord, wow. right now, just touch Dr. Brian's back as well, Lord, and let the pain not come back anymore. Lord, you just giving him a new left leg because, Lord, he knew this was the case. But, Lord, tonight, he no longer has to suffer. Tonight, you are his Savior. You have saved him, oh God, and we thank you for touching his life, his body, his leg. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That was seconds. Seconds. That was like seconds. Oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. 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 Okay. We got another one here? Oh, oh. Brother, you want to come up? Tim? Okay, Tim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's easier? Can we? Because we're video, uh, we're record, uh, yeah, we're projecting it anyways. Yeah, why don't we come down there? Make it easier on you. Thank you. Okay, Tim, can you tell me some of what is going on with your body? Okay. I had a stroke two years ago, okay. and on, I, I was affected by my right side, okay. and that's my dominant side. And where's your pain? Where, where I, do you feel pain in your body? I don't feel pain, but I just 
I'm not able to do what I used to do before. Okay. So it's kind of the right side is affected, yeah. right? Well, well, we're going to see if, if, if it has anything to do with the legs, the length of your legs, okay? First of all, if not, we'll pray another way, okay? Okay, so the right leg is about an inch and a half, would you say, Pastor? Yeah. About inch and a half yeah, shorter, right? Yeah. yeah. So, so Lord, right now, first of all, there's a multiple, multiple things going on here, Lord. But Lord, you can heal a lot of things all at once. And so, first of all, Lord, would you heal the right leg, grow it out? See, it's already coming out. You see that? Lord, just grow out that right leg in Jesus' name. Jesus' name, grow it out right now. See, it's coming out, it's coming out. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. It's right there. Okay, Lord, thank you for that first touch. Now, Lord, as I lay hands upon his right side, the stroke, we, we reverse the effects of the stroke right now. As I lay hands upon his right side. Church, I need your help too. We need everybody's faith because I'm not the healer. I want to say that again. I'm not the healer, and Jesus needs all our faith because this one is... It's not a small one, okay? Heavenly Father, right now, as all of us are praying to you, as all of us are combining our faith, we pray, Lord, for our brother. His whole right side, the stroke, Lord, has really affected him. He has to walk with a cane. He walks. He can't even go up steps, oh God. So right now, we pray for your healing upon his right side. Touch his right leg. Touch his right side of his body. Touch his right arm as well. All The whole right side, Lord. Make it like the left side. Make it healthy, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you just feel something right now? Jesus, hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we are praying, Lord, that your healing power, your healing virtue be released into this right side so that, Lord, he can begin to walk properly, normally, oh God. We release it, release it, release the healing power unto his right side. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. How do you feel? How do you feel? Oh, it feels good to be prayed for. Okay. <laughs> Good to be prayed for, right? Well, you know this is a start, yes. okay? Yeah. And, and at least the right leg came out, okay? That's the first step, okay? You, you do have like, the, the knees and all that, right? Lord, touch his knees. Touch his knees right now. Touch his calves, oh God. Touch his thighs right now, Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, you can perform a miracle more, more than just growing out his leg, oh God. You can, you can really reverse the effect of the stroke, oh God. Because, Lord, he didn't call the stroke to come upon him. Lord, the enemy, Lord, has affected his life because of it. And, Lord, he comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But, Lord, you have come to give him life and life more abundantly. So give him new life on his right side now. We pray this in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Stand up, brother. Okay. Can you, can you walk and tell me if just... Do you feel a difference? A little. Okay, let's keep on believing that the Lord is doing something in your, in your, okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. How about you? And then I'll pray for her, okay? For the rest of you who have some other ailments, trust me, we're going to get to you pretty soon. Two more people here, okay? And then we have a healing team that's been anointed to pray for you as well, okay? All right. Okay, just a little half an inch. You see that? Did you know that? Oh, you knew that too. Okay. Oh, you've been trying to look. Okay. And you already tested it yourself. And here it is, right? Okay. So do you believe that Jesus can do for you what he's done to for the others? Lord, right now, grow it out the left leg, left leg, grow it out right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the healing. And I pray for my sister's back right now that you take away all the pain. We thank you for the healing that just took place upon her left leg, that you grew it out. And Lord, you are a good God, and we give you thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. 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 You, you want to walk? Tell me if you feel something different. Yes, I came up here. The pain was about five to six right here. Now it's like maybe three to four. Okay, it's come down because now you have to walk, learn to walk normally, right? With your Torn meniscus in my knee. Right oh, here. the knee too? And diverticular. Vicky, can you come up here? That's my wife. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Okay, I'm going to pray for your knee, then I'm going to ask my wife, she's anointed too, okay? So to, to then pray for your, your stomach area, right? Okay, this knee, Vicky. Heavenly Father, right now, we just pray for our sister's right knee, oh God, would you, just as you healed her left foot, her left leg, now you heal her right knee in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. By your stripes, she is healed. Okay, Vicky, why don't you tell her what, what you just told me about what's going on here. Heavenly Father, I want to pray for healing right now, Lord. I pray for healing right in this area as my hand is touching her, Lord. Father God, I pray for all, all the internal organs inside, Lord, the nerves, the cells, Lord, Father, the fibers, Lord, Father, everything that is guarding in this area, Lord. And God, just do a miraculous healing on her right now. Father God, release your healing on her, Lord, your touch, Lord. Do something powerful on my sister right now. Yes. We pray this in Jesus', in Jesus name. name. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Be healed. Be healed, okay? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, sister, can you tell me what, what, what are the issues here? I have my back. I cannot make myself straight. Okay. My neck hurts, and I can hardly breathe something. lungs so because your 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 back is is cause you to curve is cause your back your neck and then it's hard to breathe right well you definitely have been suffering right and jesus doesn't want you to suffer anymore right do you believe in healing jesus hallelujah Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we pray for our sister right now. Lord, you know that she has been suffering, just like the women in the Bible. And Lord, you desire her not to suffer. And Lord, she took a step of faith to come up here to bleed for your healing. And so, Lord, I pray for her back right now that has caused, Lord, her, 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 um, her upper body, Lord, her neck, her head, Lord, to, 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 to lean forward so that she, it has even affected her breathing. You know all that, Lord. You were her creator. You created her back. You created her neck. You created her lungs, her esophagus. You created all of that. And so, Lord, we pray that you recreate. Give her a new one right now, even as hands are laid upon her in Jesus' name, because, Lord, you are a healing God. So, Lord, cause her so that she can stretch backwards, oh God. Move backwards in Jesus' name. In your name we pray, hallelujah. Because by your stripes, she is healed. Right now, Lord, right now, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, in Jesus' name. Tell, tell me, tell me, what, what are you feeling right now, sister? What are you feeling right now? Yes. Thank you. Oh. I feel better. Woo! Yes. Amen? Yeah. You feel better? Yeah. Hallelujah. When, when you did that before, what was the pain level when you moved back like that? Like 1 to 10? I just cannot. Just could not? Yeah. But now can you? Yes, I get up straight. Wow. And I don't have the pain. And no pain? No. Hallelujah. Lord, seal, seal the healing right now. Hallelujah. Enable her to breathe properly in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. Healing teams, would you come up right now? Healing teams, would you come up right now? Hallelujah. See, maybe you don't have a bad back. Maybe you don't have a leg shorter. Maybe it's something else. Maybe you have chronic headaches. Maybe you have injuries, pain in your elbow. Maybe you have plantar fasciitis. Maybe you have cancer, tuberculosis, you have something else. Our healing teams are being assembled right now. Uh, some of you spread out here. Okay, there's more room here. Just, just move out here, team. Okay. Can you move up here, teams? You're too crowded over there. Gotta move. <laughs> this way. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You're not going to preach, okay? Uh, that's what, don't, don't be afraid to stand here, okay? Hallelujah. Pray with me, everybody. Lord, I pray for a special anointing upon the healing teams right now. Lord, you have already designated for, 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 for healing, for praying for, for the sick tonight. And I pray for a double portion. Whatever is on me, Lord, whatever you put on me, would you put on them right now so that the same anointing that comes from Jesus Christ would heal the sick right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So they are paired up. They're going to work in pairs, okay? So, and some of them are in the back. Is that you guys in the back too? Or you guys are just praying? Oh, is some of you? Can, yeah. You know what? Um, 
you guys have labels, right? What, do you have? What? What? So you explain it. I'm sorry, I forgot the lanyards. So, but you, you know where you're positioned. So I'm going to ask you to go into your positions right now. Thank you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, that's okay. We're, we're, we're humans. We make mistakes, right? <laughs> Jesus does not. Hallelujah. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I mixed up everybody, right? Oh, man, I didn't get the, 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 the message this morning. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so you see where they are lined up. The people who are standing, they have badges and all that, right? So if you're going through any kind of pain, any kind of sickness, you know about your condition, please go to one of the, to, 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 to the pairs, okay, and they're going to pray for you, okay? Amen. Nobody needs healing other than that? Okay. <laughs> Hallelujah. And, and, and yeah, yes, come up by faith, okay? Hopefully what you just saw, you know that there's a healing God in the room right now, okay? And just as he healed the others on the stage, he's going to heal those around the congregation right now. In Jesus' name. Okay, and, and if there's nobody to go to, just wait in line. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's good. That's good. Hallelujah. Christians, those who are in the congregation, if you can just stretch forth your hands towards the people being prayed over. Maybe you're not sick, but they are. And, and if you can, can offer your prayer as well, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, you know who are suffering. Take the suffering away in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You know, I, I, I believe that some of you who are sitting, some of you are thinking, wow, i never seen anything like this before. i never seen a move of God this way before. i never saw healings like this before. And now you're even thinking, wow, I didn't know that there was a God. I didn't know that there was a Jesus that can perform miracles like this. I invite you to, to pray to him right now and just say, Lord, I want to come to you too. I want to trust you in my life. If you can do this kind of stuff, you can do other things in my life as well. I want you to be in prayer as well right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lord, we just praise you right now. We praise you right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Sounds like we got a healing going on right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for healing that daughter of yours. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. Heal the sick now, Lord. Heal the sick right now. Take away the suffering. Take away the suffering. No more pain. No more pain, Lord. Hallelujah. Just move among us, Lord. Heal the sick bodies. Heal the injuries right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You are a, you are a healing God. Thank you, Jesus. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for healing all those people on the stage. Now heal those at the altar, Lord. Hallelujah. Take away the pain. Straighten up the backs of God. Heal all the the injuries in Jesus' name right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we got another one there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Another one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You're healing more and more. Hallelujah. You're no respecter of persons, Lord. If you can heal one, you can heal another. Hallelujah. If you can heal another, you can heal everyone. Hallelujah. Just do it, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Move among us right now, Lord. Hallelujah. Another one. Another one. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. Hallelujah. Another one. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for healing that man over there, God. Thank you for healing that man. Thank you for healing that, that sister over there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord is just healing people all around the sanctuary. Hallelujah. If, if, you're, if you're still sick, if you're still going through pain, feel free to come up and let one of the prayer warriors know so that they can pray for you. You can receive your healing as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. What a good God you are, Lord. What a good God you are. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We got another leg that's that's documented to be shorter than the other one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Thank you, Chief. Can you hold this at the same time? I'll do my best. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, here we have another one. Okay, we got our Tony's right leg is shorter than his left leg. Can you see that? Right. Did, you knew that, right? Wow, how long has it been like this? Long time. Okay, church, um, Tony's right leg has been shorter than his left leg for a long time. Okay, well, is, do you believe that it's going to end tonight? Okay, let's, let's pray right now. Lord, would you heal his right leg right now? Would you grow it out in Jesus' name? See, there it is. There it is, it's growing out right now. Can you see that? You feel it? 
Right now, in Jesus' name, there it is. Right leg is the same length as the left leg. Hallelujah. 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 Wow. You see, you don't have to be afraid to come up to the stage. This is where Jesus wants to heal you, right? Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are there any other Tonys here? You know, anybody else who you know one leg is shorter than the other one? Uh, he didn't want to come up because there were the crowds here, but you can come up anyways, okay? Anybody else? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. find out okay you want to take off your uh, a little bit you see that a little bit, little bit. Oh, wow. okay right, like, right do you see your heel look at the bottom of your heel your right foot is about half an inch maybe three quarters of an inch shorter than the left okay about the same as Tony one okay so Tony two do you believe that Jesus can heal you no no hope so you gotta believe hope so doesn't cut it okay in Jesus name Lord grow it out right now Grow out the right leg. Grow it out right now in Jesus' name. There it is. There it is. Right there. You see? Jesus loves you. And I'm not kidding. Jesus loves you. No matter what kind of life you live, he loves you because you're his child. Amen. Good. All right, Tony. God bless you, Tony. Hallelujah. Feels good, right, Tony? Okay, Tony, too. That's good. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yes. Hey, what? Hi. Your right knee? Okay. 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 What kind of accident was it? Fell down. Just fell down. Okay, well, let's, let's check the leg length first, okay? Well, look at that. Look at that. Do you see that? Right? Look at that. Okay. Um, okay. Um, those who are not being prayed over or praying, those who are in the congregation, if you can see right now, Michael's left leg, I would say what? Two inches? About two inches because Michael had an accident. Okay, Jesus can heal accidents, right? You believe that, Michael? Okay, Lord, would you heal Michael right now? In spite of his accident, grow it out right now, grow it out right now, grow it out right now, in Jesus' name. Did you feel that? Did you feel that? Hallelujah. Which knee was it? This one? Okay, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you heal Michael's knee. Thank you for lengthening his left leg. That was a significant amount. And now, Lord, in spite of whatever has, uh, he fell down. He fell down. Would you reverse that fall? So it's as if he didn't never fell. And would you heal his left knee now so that he can walk properly? 
We know that, Lord, you are healing quickly because you did that with his left leg. So heal quickly his right knee now. We thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Okay. Let's test it out, Michael. Let's test it out right now. Wow, you are walking differently than the way you walked up here. How does it feel? Feel good. Right. How, were you in pain when you came up here? Uh, yeah, my right knee. Your right knee. And what was the pain level? One to ten, ten being the worst. No, it's around my seven. And what is it now? It's around maybe three. So seven to three. Yeah. Hallelujah. With a, with a lengthened left leg now. Thank Hallelujah. You. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Oh, we need healing for you, right? You need to be healed so you can serve God better while you're working. Can we check the, the legs first? Okay, they're about the same. Well, maybe just a little bit. Lord, just grow it out. Okay, that's it. Okay, grow out fast. Okay. Okay, so Lord, okay. just touch my sister's legs, her back, the whole nervous system right now in Jesus' name because, Lord, you know this has caused her so much suffering, so much pain, just as you have healed others. I pray that you will heal her now. Lord, touch her nervous system. Heal her nervous system. Restore her nervous system. Recreate it the way it was created, what was, was meant to be created. We pray this in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for your healing touch, your power. And so, Lord, restore to her, her body, so that she'll be pain-free. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Okay, stand up now. Move around. How do you feel? That feels good. It feels good? Okay, what? A little pop. You felt a pop. Yeah. And how's it? It's really tight. So where it was usually tight, you felt a pop. It's like a release. Wow. So what pain level did you have walking up here? Uh, One to ten. Ten being the worst. I feel like a five, six. Five, six? For today. Okay. And what is it now? I don't feel anything yet. You don't feel anything? Not yet. <laughs> Good. Uh, five, six, zero. Yeah. Hallelujah. Give me a high five. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Wow. So go work the media now. <laughs> Amen. Okay, David. What, what, what's going on? Toes. Numbness in the toes. Okay. You put, your, put your foot just on the chair here. Lord, right now, take away the tingling. Take away any abnormalities in his left foot. Lord, let his blood flow properly. In Jesus' name, where my fingertips are, let that be a point of transfer of your healing power from heaven to his foot. In Jesus' name, bring restoration, no more tingling, just comfort. We pray this in Jesus' name, because David has been so faithful to you. Be faithful to him now. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, how do you feel? Move it around. Better. Better? Better? Yeah. Any more tingling? Still a little bit, Still but, little bit. but not much when I was sitting down over there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Okay. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. We're going to do one more thing here. Okay? If I can have your attention, except for those who are still praying. Okay? We want to make sure that the Lord restores all of you. We want to be pain-free in this sanctuary, okay? If, you're, if you have any kind of pain, I want you to just stand up where you are because I believe that the Holy Spirit's gonna move through the, the chairs, the pews here, and he's gonna, anybody who's still going through some pain, stand up if you're going through some kind of pain, okay? Raise your right hand too. Right hand, if you're still going through the pain, okay. Those who are still going through some kind of pain. Okay. Those who feel like you can be a, a, any available prayer warriors, go lay hands on somebody with a right hand that's stretched out. Okay? Let's make sure. 
Prayer warriors, go find somebody with a right hand that's, that's raised, okay? The intercessory team, I think I need you right now. Intercessory team, go to somebody with an outstretched right hand right now. They need you. Intercessory team, can you just go and just lay hands, okay? We want to make sure everybody has been covered, okay? Okay, if, okay, who, okay, if you, if you get somebody laying hands on you, you can lower your hand, but if you don't, keep your hand up because we want to cover you. Okay, there's a brother back there. We need somebody over there. Can somebody lay hands on the guy with the purple shirt? Who's available? Guy with a purple shirt over there. Can somebody go and lay hands on him? Okay, maybe one of the deacons, one of the pastors, just lay hands on him. We just need somebody to lay hands on him. Okay, anybody else? Okay, do we have a sister, right, right hand up there. Can somebody lay hands on her? In Jesus' name. Okay, we're good right now. All right, let's pray together. Okay, anybody else? I don't want to miss anybody. Anybody else with pain? Right, lift up your right hand because we want to cover you too. Okay, we're good. Heavenly Father, you saw the hands that were raised up earlier. Lord, you know that they still have some pain. They may have been prayed for, maybe they weren't. But Lord, I pray that right now, even as you have been in this service, you, you lengthen legs. Lord, you are healing people with back pains. Lord, you are touching people with other kinds of sicknesses, injuries, Lord, ailments. Right now, you see the people that are still going through pain. And Lord, by the same power, by the name of Jesus, we pray, Lord, that you would take away the pain of everyone who had the right hand up. Take it away so that, Lord, they won't experience it anymore and that they can be set free. Because, Lord, you don't want us to suffer. You see us being somebody special in your eyes. And so, Lord, would you save us from our suffering? In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. Okay. Those that raised up their right hand, I want you to shake your body around. Shake your body around right here. Okay, like this. Shake your body. Those who have the right hand, extend it. Okay. If, if you had pain before, but there's no pain now, raise your left hand. Hallelujah. We got a brother here. Who else? You had pain right there. Hallelujah. Who else? Right there. Hallelujah. Wow. <coughs> Hallelujah. Wow. Um, Luke, is that your name? Loki, Loki, come up here. Okay, everybody. Can everybody take a seat? Can everybody take a seat? Come here, Loki. Oh, can everybody take a seat right now? Everybody, can you take a seat? We're not finished yet. We're not finished yet. Can everybody sit down? Can everybody sit down? I know you're really into the healing thing right now, but can you sit down? Okay. Okay, if you can't sit down, at least, can you be quiet, okay? Can you be quiet, please? Okay, prayer warriors, pray softer, please. All right, let's, let's hear what God has done after the leg lengthening, okay? Because you guys heard the testimonies when we were up on the stage. Okay, here we have Loki. Can you tell us what you have been going through, okay? Um, for my right ear, I was totally deaf. And um, I've been like that since 15 or 16 years old. And I could only hear on this ear. But as of tonight, I actually can hear on this ear also. Hallelujah! Did you just hear that? Since 15 years old, and now she's 16, one year later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want to tell me I was your age? Well, that's okay. I'm still older than you, okay? All right. Okay, so from 15 to 58, she's had a deaf right ear, but tonight her right ear can hear. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Give me five. Wow. 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 Okay. Who else wants to share a testimony? Yeah, like, not the people I pray for, okay? Because we heard from you. Who else? Okay, some, something, something um, that, that um, you were going through, but now you got healed. Who, who else here? Now, it doesn't have to be as spectacular as you were deaf, and now you can hear, okay? Who else here? 
I heard, I saw some things happening here. Prayer warrior, you want to encourage somebody to come up here? Let's give glory to God right now. Okay? Yeah. Who, who, lift, who raised your left hand earlier? You had pain and not now. Okay? You, you just have to say a few words. Don't be bashful. Jesus healed you. Okay. Uh, sister, did you want to come up here and just share what happened? Oh, you're, you're, come here, just short here. Come, come, be brave. Here, I'll meet you halfway. How's that? Okay. Tell us what, what, what you went through and what, it, what how it feels now. Well, my, um, through the whole service, my knee has just been really achy because I tore an AC a long time ago. So it's just been achy all through the service. And then, um, but I didn't think it was important enough to come up there. So, <laughs> but yes, thank you for those who laid a hand on me and prayed and I tried to stretch it afterwards and it was just no pain. <laughs> I didn't have to stretch it, but I hope, yeah. No pain, yeah. no pain. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. By the way, I don't want to say this to embarrass my sister, okay? Sometimes we don't think we're special enough. We don't think that we're loved enough. God does not see you that way. When Jesus hanged on that cross, he looked through the corridors of time and determined whether it was worth praying, dying for you. Every one of us he died for. Every one of you is special enough, okay? So whenever, in the future, when there's other healing opportunities, come up because he could do something really special for you and by not coming up, you're losing out, okay? Don't let the devil lie to you about that, okay? Come up because we want you to be healed. He wants you to be healed, all right? I know there are others. There are a couple guys. I don't want to mention their names, okay? But, but same thing. They didn't want to come up because there were crowds here, but then when they came up, they got healed, okay? Do we have a testimony here? No, I'd like you to pray over her. Okay, and, and what, what is it, sister? What's the matter? I have an arthritic hip. Yep. Um, I have a cataract in my eyes. Okay. And... Doctor took an X-ray of her and said that her pelvis is slightly uneven, okay. and he thinks it was from a mild case of polio when she was a child, okay. and one leg is shorter than the other, and, okay. and that's led to the arthritis. Okay, wow. So the wow. leg, unevenness of the legs led to the arthritis, and then because of that, there's been a pelvic problem, and then there's also you, you seen the neck. Is that what you just heard? Well, oh, my, my eyes. Eye. Oh, cataracts in the eyes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's let's. Work on the legs first, okay? Yeah, sit down, please. Oh, yeah. So the left leg is shorter than the right leg, right? Are you, let's take off your sandals. Lord, heal it right now in Jesus' name. Heal it right now in Jesus' name. Heal it now in Jesus' name. Heal it right now in Jesus' name. You know, it looks even to me. Right? Looks even to me. Lord, would you touch her right leg? And Lord, this has caused serious arthritis. It's been a pain to her. And so, Lord, even as she comes to you, we pray, Lord, that you would completely heal the right leg, the arthritis, which has caused, Lord, a hip problem. So I pray for her hip as well. Lord, would you, you start it with the leg, move up to the thigh, and now go to the pelvic hip. In Jesus' name, would you restore her? And Lord, as I continue to move up, I pray, Lord, for the cataracts in her eyes. Lord, you just heal deafness, and her eyes are close to ears. You can also heal, Lord, the eyes. And so, Lord, remove the cataracts and heal her eyes so that she can see clearly. We thank you, Lord, for your healing virtue because you are God and because, Lord, you desire her to not suffer anymore. So we pray for her. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay. Can you stand up and tell me how you feel? Still stiff. I'm st still this stiff. This is stiff? Lord, would you remove the stiffness right now? Lord, soften, soften the flesh right now because of the arthritis. We reverse the effects of the arthritis that has 
has, has been caused by this, this lengthy period of time, Lord, where one leg was uneven. But right now, Lord, we pray that you would restore to her, Lord, a proper leg, free of arthritis, heal her bone area, Lord, and everything surrounding it. We thank you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, tell me how you feel now. Um, oh, I don't know. Um, well, is it different? A little, uh, you know. Um, let me try walking. Okay, try walking. Walk it out. Walk it out. In Jesus' name, walk it out. Walk it out. In Jesus' name, Lord, as she's walking it out, I pray, Lord, that your healing power come upon her as she is walking. Let her walk normally. Let her be able to lift up her legs. In Jesus' name, touch her. Touch her right now, Lord, even as she's walking it out, walking out her arthritis, receiving the healing power from you. In Jesus' name. How's it feel? Feels much better. Oh, I, hallelujah! Uh, hallelujah! I can bring my leg up. You you could not do that before. Not really. Wow, not, and it's um, coming up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lord, we ask that you would sustain the healing power that even in the hours and the days to come, Lord, we are expecting a good report because what you started tonight, continue your healing power upon her. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. She could not do that before. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you bow your heads with me? Let's give thanks to our Lord. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for what you have done tonight. Lord, the Bible really is true. You really are the healer. You're our healer. Lord, you weren't just the healer of the woman with the issue of blood in the Bible. You weren't just the healer for that woman with, with multiple sclerosis in Malaysia. You were also the healer tonight. And I seal the healing right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you for all the lakes that grew out. Thank you, Lord, for all the arthritis that's been relieved. Thank you for all the nerves and the nervous system that's been healed. Thank you, Lord, for the deaf right ear that now can hear. Lord, thank you for the pains that have dissipated, oh God. Thank you for all these healings. And, and I'm not even mentioning all of them, oh God. There's so many out there. That's what you can do because you are Jesus, our healer. And I want to thank you, Lord, because that's how much you love us. Even when we turn our backs on you, even when we disobey you, even when we don't even give our lives to you, you do this kind of stuff. That's the grace of God. And we want to thank you. With your head still bowed and eyes closed. Maybe you never accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior. Because you never saw a demonstration of what Jesus can do today. Maybe you read the Bible before or somebody told you about Jesus. But until you saw it, you, you weren't going to believe it. Tonight, you saw what Jesus can do. And trust me, I've been a minister for over 30 years. I have seen him do incredible things. My wife and I have prayed for people with cancer, cancer disappearing. One person had the cancer so dramatically removed when a doctor did the before and after x-ray, before his whole lungs was filled with cancer. Afterwards, he said, it's as if a surgeon took a knife and removed the cancer and they can still see the, the tissue scar marks. Jesus did that, and the doc no doctor did that for him. That's when Pastor Vicky and I prayed for him, and he got healed. See, this is a different kind of Jesus that you may be not familiar with. But he's not just your healer. Most of all, he wants to be your savior. Because, yes, you can be healed tonight, and people can be healed tonight. But if you don't know Jesus as Lord and Savior, when you die, with or without a healing, you don't go to heaven. The Bible says you go to hell. And he doesn't desire anyone to go to hell. That's why he came 2,000 years ago to die on the cross, to die for all your sins, so that if you make him Lord of your life, he will write what the Bible calls the book of life. There's a book up in heaven. It's a big book. It contains every name that's going to heaven. My name is in there. My wife's name, Pastor Mike's name, and many, many, the prayer warriors, their names are in there. Tonight, I believe Jesus wants to write your name in that book as well. 
But you have to, the ball's in your court, just like with the healing. You had to come up here for the healing. The people who didn't come up until later on, they didn't get the healing until they came up. And likewise, just sitting back does not get you saved. You have to say, Jesus, I want you as my Lord and Savior. The ball's in your court. You have to throw the, back, the ball back at Jesus. Say, Jesus, I want you. I want to give my life to you. I want to be born again. And so while heads are bowed, eyes are closed, nobody looking around but God and this preacher, if you never accepted Jesus as Lord and Savior, and you would like to do so tonight, and by the way, just coming to church doesn't save you. Reading the Bible doesn't save you. Having a family member that's a Christian doesn't automatically save you. The Bible says that each one of us have to work out our own salvation. And here's your opportunity to work out your salvation. If you're interested in accepting Jesus, especially after what you saw Jesus do here in the sanctuary, I want to pray for you. I, want, I promise I will not embarrass you. I will not ask you to come up to the stage like I did for those who need healing. I just want you to raise your hand and say, Jesus, I want you to be my Lord and Savior. I want to give my life to you. I want to turn back on all my sins. I don't want to live that life anymore. I want to live a new life for you. If that's you, raise your hand so I can see it. I want to pray for you. Yes, I see that hand back there. Anybody else? Yes, I see that hand there too. Hallelujah. Who else? Never accepted Jesus before, but you want to do so tonight. Raise your hand. Raise it higher so I can see it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I see the two hands. Okay, we're going to pray together. And those who raise their two hands, I want you to pray. But like I said, I'm not going to embarrass you. I would like all the Christians to pray this prayer as well. Not that it saves them again. They've already been saved. But they want to do this in support of you accepting Jesus. So we're all going to pray this together, okay? I'll pray a phrase, and you pray after me, okay? This is, by praying this prayer, you are saying that, Jesus saved me. I want to become a Christian now. Okay? Heavenly Father, thank you for being my healer. Thank you for being my Savior. Tonight, I accept you as my Lord, my Savior, in addition to being my healer. I have sinned. I turn my back on my sins. I follow you now. Write my name in the book of life and save me. I want to live for you for the rest of my life. Thank you for this free gift. By faith I am saved. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Lord, thank you for the people that just prayed, oh God, especially the two brothers. Hallelujah. And so, Lord, you heard their prayer. And I pray, Lord, you write their names in the book of life right now in Jesus' name. Let it be, there's no doubt, one day they will die. We all will die. But when they die, they will not go to hell. They will go to heaven. And when they are escorted through the, through, through, through the, the gates, the, the pearly gates, they will see their names in the book of life and they'll be ushered in and they will live for eternity with you. We thank you, oh God, for what you have done. Jesus, you are not only our healer tonight, you are our savior as well. And we give you the honor and glory in Jesus' name I pray. Everybody said amen. Hallelujah. 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 I'm going to turn the time over to Pastor Mike. Mike, maybe you can give instructions to the two people what they can do after, at the conclusion of the service. Hallelujah. Amen. Would you say thanks to Pastor Terry? Oh, my gosh. That was amazing. So amazing. God is so amazing in this place. Amen. And so thank you, Pastor Terry and Pastor Vicki. Thank you for Ryan. And uh, thank you guys for coming tonight and for just ministering to us so powerfully. We are, how many of us, I was just going to say it outside, but I, I'm going to put it in a question form. How many of us could say, you're not going to be the same ever again after tonight? Amen? Yeah, and I don't think our church is ever going to be the same again. How many of us would like to do another healing service sometime in the future? Would you like to do that? Come on. Right. Yes, exactly. So, um, so we're going to plan that out. And of course, you know, we can definitely uh, pray. Our prayer team is always here. Uh, every time we do church. And so tomorrow we have services at 8 and 10. 
And so if you want to bring someone tomorrow for prayer, uh, we'll definitely pray for you tomorrow. Um, so we're a little bit pressed for time tonight because this is a obviously a rented facility and the state of Hawaii wants us out um, by, uh, well, we have, to, we have to start exiting at 8.30. We have to be completely out before 9 o'clock. So we're going to say 8.45, we need to be completely out. And that's just because we're renting this facility. But we'll be back tomorrow. But let me just say, um, praise God for the two brothers and I think a sister who gave their hearts to Jesus. Would you just say thanks to God for these three? I saw three, I think, who gave their hearts to the Lord. Amen, tonight. And we have, uh, we, want to, we want to bless you guys tonight with a Bible. So we have a special uh, Bible with a packet. Um, so Renee over here as well. And uh, so I want you to make sure we get the, the literature to you. Um, and this is the Bible. And uh, we, also, we also have a study that goes, you know, with it as well. All this um, just to bless you with. There's no charge or anything like that. In fact, nothing tonight was, well, there was no admission for nothing. <laughs> There's no charge at all for anything. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And uh, if, you're, if you're watching online, it's just a thought that popped in my head. If you're watching this online and you're going, uh, I don't know, I don't know. Well, come visit us live. <laughs> come check it out and uh, see for yourself because we totally understand that you need to see this, you know, for yourself or you need to experience it personally. This is the way Jesus works. We, he totally understands that and we understand that. So, yeah, if you're, if you're watching tonight and you have, you know, some skepticism, some doubt or whatever, eh, I'm not sure about that. Come and visit us and uh, we definitely will pray over you. Amen? Amen. Well, Let's go out. I'm going to invite the worship band to come back up here. And uh, we're going to sing that. How about that last song? Yeah. Right? Awesome. This is a move. Because that's what this is right now. We believe that it is a move of the Lord. And so as they're coming up, would you guys stand as well? And um, let's, let's just go out and worship the Lord in this song. Come on. Come on up here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Amen. As we sing this tonight, I believe we're going to sing this with a renewed sense of faith and urgency. Hallelujah. Because of what God has done in our midst. So let's just declare this as we go and believe for continued miracles continued healings as we go from this place and just declare that what God has begun, he will continue to do. Hallelujah. So we're so blessed that you could join us this evening. God bless you guys as you go and let's go out worshiping him together and declaring this over our lives. Here we go. Let's sing. Mountains. Mountains are still being moved. And strongholds. Strongholds are still being moved. We believe, yes, we can see the wonders are still what you do on the same bodies are raised, bodies are still being raised, the giants are still being slain. God, we believe, yes, we can see the wonders are still what you do. Bless you guys for coming tonight. 
Go ahead and just say thanks to the Lord one more time. Would you bless his name? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, for the move tonight, for your spirits moving tonight. Well, would you love on about eight or nine people before you go? And we'll see you maybe tomorrow morning or next weekend. God bless. Aloha kia kua. We'll see you guys.